One of the questions that, that I get asked uh, quite frequently, and I think everybody here in the office does also, when we have guests come in, we have customers, we have people for training, they say, why do you have a Lego City in your office? It's not every day you go into a, an office and you see a Lego City that, you know, this size and this uh, you know, detailed. We built it for R&D purposes and for, for training. What we do is we, uh, we, we, we source actual control systems to Automate, automate the city here. For example, for the power plant, we have a General Electric uh, Mark 6E controller run the, uh, the turbine in there. Then we have a Emerson DCS that'll run the power plant. Once we start the power plant, we have to put power out on, out on the grid. So we have some, we have a substation uh, that's powered from one of our partners, uh, SEL. We go and we close, you know, the breaker, and everything starts coming to life here, here in the city. Put power out on the grid. For some reason, our generator goes down. We have our wind turbines that are spinning and producing power, putting it out on the grid. All the buildings are, are are individually lit. The chemical plant has different instrumentation in there. It has a different uh, distributed control system in there. All of this stuff produces different protocols, different functionality that feeds back into our platform for R&D purposes. The really neat thing about it is when we use it for training, we can see the, the whole functioning city and what happens if we kill a, the generator, the lights, lights go out, how do we bring them back? The whole thing here is we wanted to show an entire city from power to water to recreational purposes to different retail. It took about four months to build, about 60,000 Lego pieces. When we get it all automated, it'll certainly help out the R&D uh, efforts and training. You go around to different parts of the city, you'll find a little uh, little Easter eggs, we'll say that, that we that we put in here. From the power plant operator, we have some, uh, we have Homer Simpson. We have a, a Sasquatch running around the, uh, the, the woods out here. We have different characters, Lego figurines throughout here. I went and bought a couple uh, control cabinets. You know, we got, that's where we're gonna be able to see our GE control systems, our Emerson control systems, our, you know, Siemens and Mitsubishi and Allen Bradley and all the other ones that we, uh, that we're gonna install here. The purpose of them having out here in, in the open is so we can show everybody what these systems are for, for training. You know, a lot of people talk about, you know, PLCs and DCSs and all this stuff, but the way this is being laid out, we'll be able to say, hey, that's a DCS. This, this is what we're working on. This is what we're doing. This is actually what a PLC and DCS is, and this is how it works.